For today's video, we will answer a math challenge given by one of our followers. And the question goes like this. Solve for all values of x that satisfies this equation. We have x minus 4 raised to the power of 4 equals x raised to the power of 4. Now you can pause this video if you want to give this problem a try. And now, let's answer this question together. Alright, so, given this equation, our goal is to solve for all values of x that satisfies this equation, x minus 4 raised to the power of 4 equals x raised to the power of 4. Now, since we want all possible values of x that satisfies this equation, it definitely follows that x can be also a complex number. Alright, so we are not limited to real numbers. Now, let's solve this equation. Alright, now, what we're going to do here is to equate this to 0. So, we have here x minus 4 raised to the power of 4 minus x raised to the power. Now, what we're going to do is to rewrite x minus 4 raised to the power of 4. Take note that this 4 can be written as 2 times 2. So, x minus 4 raised to the power of 4 can be written as x minus 4 raised to the power of 2 raised to the power of 2. Now, we can do the same thing to this expression x raised to the power of 4 because again, 4 is 2 times 2. So, we can rewrite this as x squared raised to the power of 2. Now, the question, the big question is why we do that? Because we will apply this identity if we have a squared minus b squared, it must be equal to a minus b multiplied by a plus b. So here, a represents, we have x minus 4 to the power of 2, and this b represents x squared. So this can be factored as follows. We have x minus 4 to the power of 2 minus x squared multiplied by x minus 4 to the power of 2 plus x squared. So we can replace this factor to our original equation like this. And then let's simplify. x minus 4 raised to the power of 2, if we expand this, we get something like x squared minus 8x plus 16. So again, we can replace this to our equation. And then notice, we can cancel out x squared and negative x squared like this. So now we have negative 8x plus 16 multiplied by x minus 4 raised to the power of 2 plus x squared equals 0. Now let's simplify this, x minus 4 raised to the power of 2. Again, we get something like x squared minus 8x plus 16. So again, we can replace this value. Now let's combine similar terms. We have here positive x squared and positive x squared. If we combine this, we get something like 2x squared. So now, our equation becomes negative 8x plus 16 multiplied by the quantity 2x squared minus 8x plus 16 equals 0. Now, since it is equal to 0, it follows that at least one of them must be equal to 0 or simply the 0 property. So we can say that we have here negative 8x plus 16 equals to 0 or 2x squared minus 8x plus 16 equals 0. Now, let's focus on the first equation. Alright, let's solve for the value of x. So, why not? Let's subtract 16 on both sides. And then, divide negative 8 on both sides to solve for the value of x. Now, negative 16 divided by negative 8, this will give us a positive 2. And that is the first value of x. Now, to solve for the other values of x, we will use this equation. So, let's do that. Now, one thing to notice here is all of this coefficient is divisible by 2 or an even number. So, why not divide all of this by 2 to make it simple? So, we have here 2 divided by 2 will give us 1, 8 divided by 2 will give us 4, or negative 4 rather, 16 divided by 2 will give us 8. So, our equation now becomes x squared minus 4x plus 8 equals 0. Now, this equation is not factorable, so we will use the quadratic formula. So we have negative b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 
to a. Now, the value of a must be the coefficient of x squared, which is 1. And the value of b must be the coefficient of x, which is negative 4. And the value of c must be the constant term, which is positive 8. So we are now ready to solve for the values of x. So let's replace all a with 1. And then all b with negative 4. And then c, let's replace this with 8. Now let's simplify first. Negative 4 raised to the power of 2, this will give us positive 16. 4 times 8, this will give us 32. Now, 16 minus 32, this will give us negative 16. And then, we have here negative of negative 4, so we have here positive 4. And square root of negative 16, this is simply equal to 4i. So, this is just 4i. And then, if we simplify this, 4 plus or minus 4i divided by 2, this will give us to 2 plus or minus 2i. And that is the other values of x that satisfies this equation. Therefore, we have three possible values of x that satisfies this equation. x minus 4 is to the power of 4 equals x is the fourth power. We have x equals 2 or x equals 2 plus or minus 2. I. And as always, we are done.